Hey! In today's video we are going to learn a little bit about Firebug. It's a Firefox add-on which can be very useful if you want to modify some appearance and style for your website or WordPress blog. In this video I'm using Firefox so if you use another browser you might also want to install a um, Firebug add-on. But because I'm using Firefox what you can do is you go to tools and then add-ons or you can use the shortcut this is a shift and command A and then you will be uh, brought to add-ons manager page here in uh, Firefox. So what you can do is you can get add-on but you can also look at the extension that you can see what kind of plugins you've installed here in Firefox. So because now I want to install Firebug, I'm just looking for Firebug there on the top and then hit enter. Uh, you see that it's now showing my add-ons but you can see available add-ons over here and then it says that we haven't installed it and now we can install it so install and then just close it and what you will have is there on the top you will have a Firebug icon on your browser so now let's say I'm going to work with uh, my new website blog for example using this child theme or 2014 theme and then here what you can do is say now I'm going to modify this title and then you can just right click it and inspect element with Firebug or you can just use this Firebug icon so if you click on that you see now that we have um, two tabs which has the HTML code. You can also switch back and forth within tabs, but by default it's open for you HTML tab. And then here on the right side it's style. So what you're going to need is you're going to open first your style.css for your WordPress blog. So if I go now to my dashboard, so I'm just close again the Firebug, and then go to appearance and themes, here you see that I have uh, this 2014 child as my active theme. So you see now I have active theme and then 2014 child. So if you go to editor, you see now that I have this 2014 child and this style.css. So here in this style.css inside your dashboard you know that you can edit and update the file. You see the update file here. So we're going to work with it for a little bit for example using the Firebug today. So uh, go back to our site and then click on Firebug icon and uh, what like what I said earlier that I want to modify the simple title on of my post. So if I go to click on here the inspect element button click on that and then I hover each of uh, this element here on this side you see that when my cursors move that here on the HTML code will also showing what kind of element I am now. So for example if I just click on that that show that I'm stopping on this area you see that it has a uh, A on uh, H1 class entry dash title. So here on the right side you see that this um, entry title A which is this has this color. If you scroll down you're going to see uh, more on the top I mean on the top level which is A and then scroll down ag again it's called H1 entry title here which is this and then go up again one uh, step up side content which is this and so forth. So on the right you can see that there are many attributes or many styles that apply to this selected area which is here on entry desk title A. And the other part of uh, Firebug is that you can see this is style tab and you can also customize by clicking the arrow button there. You can uh, click on and only show applied style which is this and if you scroll down you don't have any other top levels here on the right side. And now I'm just going to click that off to bring back by default. And then the next tab is computed. Uh, what this tab will explain is what kind of uh, stuff you have, for example, like text style or box model and so forth, which apply to this uh, selected element in your page. For, for example, now, if I go back to style, if I scroll down, you see that uh, you have many, many uh, styles which is actually also included in this element. For example, now this element is called entry-title and then a tag and you see that 
maybe you want to know what kind of font size is that because it's it doesn't display here it just display the color and this also you can just scroll it down and you see that uh, you have here font size at 100% and this is including here on this text so in this A and so forth and by knowing this uh, you see that the font size is 100% but you might you maybe want to specify what kind of a pixel uh, this font size has in this case you can go to computer and then look at font size you see now it has actually 36 pixel here on this uh, area so let's say now I want to make this title a little bit smaller than this so what you can do is uh, you go back here again because we just know in the computer uh, tab the font size is actually 30, 33 pixel on this area so I'm just going to double click it like this or if you want with the right click then you can go to right click and new property and this will bring the cursor there but I'm used to have double clicks here to make the looks faster actually and then you can uh, add font size because it was 33 pixel in this post title I can add it for example like 29 pixel and let's see what happens and you notice that this title will get smaller but in that on the top the post title on the top will get bigger this is because uh, this entry uh, dash title A is uh, including this one as well but maybe now you want to specify I just want this section smaller and not that on the top so what you can do is you go to the uh, one top level I mean one step up level so I'm just cop uh, delete this and it will go back to normal and then go scroll down and now I'm going to specify the top level of this uh, entry test title if you look on the uh, on the HTML code you see that this a1 class entry title so this is this only this and not including that one so here I can then say that the font size will be smaller and as you can see the font size also stating 33 pixel but now I want to make it 29 as I wanted earlier and true enough then only this part will be smaller and that on the top will stay the same so once we inst uh, when we uh, we find what we want here to modify stuff like specify only in this section and not uh, this tool then you will be happy what you have and then what you're going to do here is uh, copy this this um, the whole things because if you now refresh the page you see that the now the title will be back this is because when you editing stuff in Firebug it will edit real time it's not yet safe in your file now what you can do is go back to your um, dashboard and go to your style.css and here you're going to paste the code that you remember we have not only entry dash titles if, if I go back to our file back again and uh, we just modify here on the h1 and then entry dash title class so here we just have to remember that that uh, this entry dash title is applying on that h1 because if we just doing this title and go back to our dashboard again and then uh, now because uh, we just modify the font size so we can just left this other attributes gone so and then update file now if we go back again to our site and refresh it notice that this will become smaller this is because we just uh, specify the entry and then dash title so now um, the other feature in Firebug is when you we go back again to our uh, what we inspect earlier so it's entry dash title a tag and then if you go to layout you see that now we have the size of this element so this element has 213 as width and 36 as height you can also uh, show your ruler for example you go to layout arrow here you're going to show rulers and guides you can just tick that and it will if you hover it here it will show so once it's tick when you hover it here and then it will show rulers and you can also tick it back off again and here on the right tab is the DOM with 
which explains many many uh, javascripts here that applied to this inspected element but I personally never or very seldom using this tab so what I actually often use is the style and computed our layout so say now we want to modify background so go up again and then now we're going to double click it to add background say background color and it helps you with the automatic uh, typing there and then I want gray for example so as you can see now we have there on the top also some post title which have a uh, gray background and you don't want that what you can do is you go to the top level which is here on entry uh, dash title and you have to specify that you only want uh, this on the uh, content area and here if you ho hover it you see that the highlighted is actually the section that you might want to have it so in this case you see that this div has div id content and then class side content. If you also scroll down you see that uh, here in this uh, h1 entry test title you still have the top level which is called uh, side content so class side dash content. So what you can do now is copy this background um, or you can just copy go back to your dashboard and then here going to paste entry test title um, A but we just want to change the background so delete that what we don't need and remember we have earlier the the top level of the whole thing was called side content so you can also choose a uh, div content or using the class site dash content so I'm just using the class which is site dash content go back to my um, dashboard again and then here we're going to add it was class site content dash content now if I update file and then go back to your website and sure enough now we just have this uh, sections having this background gray background because we just specify only on the site content element so not not on the top uh, featured post as well so that's how you use firebug and examples how you can uh, use it as beginners so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next tutorial goodbye